Hey everyone, I'm Selena for Who is Jesus Today. And um, I just want to say as a reminder and encouragement um, for us not to get up on Gen Z as they call it. I, I mean, I can't keep up with the generations that are uh, as they change. But let's put it uh, this way, I'll get it right. Don't give up on the young people, you know. Um, I guess I, I guess I'll say a thirty and under, you know, a, a college age, high school age. Yeah, um, don't give up on anyone. Honestly, don't give up on anyone. Don't give up on seniors. Don't don't give up on people that are a hundred. If they need the Lord. They need the Lord. But I am emphasizing young people for a reason as um, the a revival that was going on in, um, in Kentucky. This, these are you know, uh, young people in their 20s. Of course, people came from all different ages and walks of life to join them. But um, I just, you know, I, I want to say something because... Um, I'm not here to talk about uh, revivals for the sake of talking about a revival, but to talk about being revived. And if we are revived, we will ignite others to be revived. And I don't believe that we can say in any way it is a biblical that we can only have, you know, a seasons of crying out and praying and worshiping and witnessing at a certain time of the year or after every, say, a decade or so. To be really honest, we are called to really be conduits of revival wherever we go. We, You could be uh, sitting down in a Starbucks and you're, you're sitting there and... Um, it's a few of you that maybe are joined uh, to meet and to uh, study God's word. And you become, you know, you just are overtaken by the presence of God. And there are other uh, people at other uh, tables there and Starbucks who would not really be interested in talking about Jesus or the Bible. But they are impacted by your time of fellowship and the love they see that is being demonstrated and the unity and praying for each other and praying for the sick and the hurting and the lost and even though they may be uh, struggling and going why are they doing all this but you see you got them to notice they paid attention because you are uh, doing something that they're not going to normally see and even if they're not in a place in their heart to yet s surrender and to believe, you have impacted them. And that's what it is. When our uh, lives are being uh, lived out, being revived in ourselves, in our spirits consistently. And there's, there's, there's seasons when we do feel pretty flat and dry and we need to be again uh, revived yes and you know um, there are uh, times when you feel like I just need to be submerged you know I just need to be submerged in the river of God I'm thinking about this song that I like to sing in Spanish uh, I can't I can't think of it right now but I, I know that it's about you know that you just need to be like a uh, submerged in the river of God. And this can be an ongoing um, experience in Jesus. You don't have to wait for a special time to have an experience with uh, Jesus. Um, in fact, if you have a young people and you have uh, a children that's in a uh, Gen Z, and even if not maybe our grandkids um, they are going to be watching us 
And if our lives are dull and there's no spark, no fire, there's no joy, we don't we don't know we don't walk in that place of being revived again and again, how do we expect for them to really be impacted by our testimony? I want to read a, ver- a Bible verse here. After that whole generation had been gathered to their ancestors, another generation grew up who knew neither the Lord nor what he had done for Israel. Judges 2 and 10. This makes me sad when I read this. After that whole generation had been gathered to their ancestors, another generation grew up who knew neither the Lord nor what he had done for Israel. Judges 2 and 10. If you have a children today, and they are of age, of accountability, and they understand what is going on, do they know the God that you serve? Are they are they aware of who you actually uh, believe in? What do they know about the character of God based on His Word? So, I just have to say that as we look around and we see how uh, young people are today in our world, um. We have to take some accountability, the previous uh, generations. But it's not too late for any of us to make a change and to turn ourselves around and to be a, a people that long to be revived again and again. Um, and just, you know, we need our hearts to be open. That it would rain on us. Yes. Um, Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Forever your kingdom reigns. Our God reigns. At any time we can begin to open our mouths and praise and worship the Lord. We don't need a special service or a special place to meet up. But I do thank God for leading people and calling us to a specific assembly or region to experience and mass proportions an outpour and a downpouring of the Spirit of God. But as people go back to their places, let this ignite because you can be right in your living room and you can allow yourselves to be revived by the Lord and ignite others in your community and that's true for me and for all of us. And let's be optimistic and hopeful in Jesus for Gen Z. Yes, we're not going to, to give this a generation over to darkness. No, no, no. We're going to declare the Lord over uh, their lives. They have a lot to deal with that uh, we didn't. I mean, well, it was pretty bad then you know for me but I look at it now and I have to say that it's even much more uh, severe but where sin abounds grace even more abounds let's remember that and to whom much is given much is required you have received the presence of the Lord you are revived what do you do it isn't for you alone. We don't want to have, you know, what we call spiritual obesity, right? <laughs> we have to 
let ourselves be burned out into the world, into the lives of others. Yes, we do. Thanks for your time and for listening. You can like and subscribe. Until next time, Shalom.